Okay, hello everyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next section, which is called unit vectors. Now, basically, a unit vector is a vector with a magnitude of one. It's just like the unit circle, where we said that the center was at the center was at the origin, and of course, the important part was the radius was equal to one. A unit vector is going to have a magnitude of one. So, if we think about some of the vectors that we know that are our unit vectors, we can talk about i, j, and k. All of those are examples of unit vectors because all of them have a magnitude of 1. Now, this is the task that's going to be at hand. Given any non-zero, non-unit vector A, how can you find a unit vector that will be parallel to A? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to have to include some notational differences between the vector, original vector A, and the unit vector that is going to be parallel to the vector A. And what we're going to do is we're going to call that this right here. It's called A hat. So we have the vector A, and this is A hat. Both of them are vectors, and the only difference is that the magnitude of A is not 1, and the magnitude of A hat will always be 1. Now the other common thing between these two is that they're their, uh, their direction is the same. In other words, a and a vector a and a hat are both parallel to each other. Now here's the key. This is how you actually go about finding it. You say that a hat is going to be equal to 1 over the magnitude of a as a scalar multiple of a hat of, of the vector a. Now let's just kind of get an idea of how that actually works. Why is that true? Let's take a very simple example. Let's say, for example, that we have a vector that is, say, for example, three units long. In order for it to get only one unit long, then we need to find a vector that is basically one third as long. If you have a vector that is four units long, then we need to find a vector that is one fourth as long, and of course, in the same direction. So if you have some a vector that is, let's say, one fifth, Okay, that has a magnitude of one-fifth, then we need to find a vector that is five times as long. So notice what's happening then is that if we go ahead and multiply it by the reciprocal of the magnitude of the original vector A, which is not a unit vector, then we actually come up with a vector that is parallel to A because it's being multiplied by a scalar multiple, and it is also going to have the property that its magnitude is going to be one. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at a concrete example here. If we go ahead and say, let's say for example, this is a, the vector a, which is going to be 2, 1. Geometrically, remember that what's happening is that we want to make sure that the magnitude becomes 1, but the direction is parallel. So what that means then is that we're going to actually go ahead and say that the a vector, oh, sorry, a hat is going to be equal to 1 over the magnitude of a times it by the a vector. So if we go ahead and find the magnitude of a, well, we know the value, the, uh, the column form of the vector for vector a, so we can easily find the magnitude of vector a. And that's just going to be the square root of 5. So if I go ahead and multiply a by 1 over the square root of 5, I've basically taken the magnitude of a and shrunk it down to 1, by multiplying by 1 over the square root of 5, and I found out exactly what a hat will be. And so notice a hat is going to have exactly the same direction as the vector a, and it's going to be 1 over the square root of 5 times as long, because we knew that the original vector had a length of square root of 5. And so there you go, that's how we can always go ahead and find a unit vector given a non zero non-unit vector A, and we'll find out what some of those interesting properties will be uh, later. Okay, so that's how we can go ahead and find out what the unit vectors look like based upon any non-unit, non-zero vector A. So we'll take a look at how this goes. Uh, we'll see if we have any questions about that in class. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.